right, everyone, and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install shaders in Minecraft 1.14.3. Optifine, which is required for shaders, came out for 1.14.3 a few days ago. Officially, it is out of beta now. It is ready to be released, which means a lot of the shaders bugs we experienced in 1.14, for example, in this tutorial, we experienced some bugs. Those bugs are now fixed with the new Optifine and the uh, new shader setup. So, awesome stuff there. But first, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them. Play.breakdowncraft.com. So, if you you're looking for the best Minecraft server host in the multiverse, there is nowhere else to look but Apex Minecraft host. You can go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex for an incredible DDoS protected Minecraft server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get shaders installed. So the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and it's going to take you here. This is actually our tutorial on how to download and install shaders, but all you want to do is click this download button here. Now this is going to download Silder's Vibrant Shaders. This is personally my favorite shaders pack. You might have a different preferred shaders pack. We actually have a list of five incredible Minecraft shaders packs here in the description. This is our top five list of shaders packs. As you can see, we do have five listed there in the description. It is all here. We go through all of them in the video, showing you previews so you can decide which one you like the best. Now, nevertheless, once you're here on Silver's Vibrant Shaders or wherever you're downloading from, just make sure you're downloading the one for 114.3 or 114+. Plus. As you can see, this one actually supports everything from 117.10 to 114.3. Just need to download Optifine and all that stuff. So first, we're going to go ahead and install this. Now, for me, I'm going to be installing the medium Silver's Vibrant Shaders. You might be able to run more than that. You might be able to run less, but nevertheless, that's what I'm going to be installing. Now, for me, it's going to take me off to AdFly here. Your Shaders pack might not. If you do get like a notification up here, just click Deny. And then in the top right, wait a few seconds and then click Skip add in the top right up here. Don't click anything else on this page except deny and skip add in the top right. That will then take us off to where we can actually download this and get things rocking and rolling. You might see this over here refreshing or something. Just go ahead and close out of it if that's the case. And there we go. We are now on Mediafire where we can download Silver's Vibrant Shaders Medium Edition. So click the green download button here and it will go ahead and start your download. Now for me, it's going to say Silver's Vibrant Shaders. As long as your download, if you're downloading the same shaders pack as me, is Silver's Vibrant Shaders, you're good to go. Otherwise, it should be like have the name of whatever shaders pack you're downloading. For example, if you're downloading Continuum, Continuum is going to have that in its name. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and continue on with this tutorial by installing Optifine or downloading it specifically. Optifine is required for all shaders packs these days. It's just the add-on to shaders packs and Optifine is needed to run them. So nevertheless, to get Optifine, go to the third link down below and it will take you here. This is actually our in-depth tutorial on installing Optifine. We go through it all here. However, we're going to be doing it in this video. So all you need to do is click on the green download Optifine button. It will then take us off to Optifine's official download page where, as you can see, Optifine is out. It's not in beta anymore. It's not up here at preview version. So it is out officially for Minecraft 1.14.3. And we can go ahead and click the mirror button right here. See that mirror button right next to the latest version, the one up at the top right here. Click the mirror button. Click that. It takes us off to the download page where we can click on the download optifine.jar link. Just this blue text that says download optifine 1.14.3. Click on that and it will download optifine in the bottom left. Now you will need to keep this file and it is 100% safe as long as it starts with optifine and ends with .jar. So go ahead and click keep there. Now if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it's popped something up in the center of your screen. That's perfectly fine as long as it starts with optifine and ends with .jar. Go ahead and save that file on Mozilla Firefox. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here on our desktop, we have Silder's Vibrant Shaders and we have Optifine. Now, every shaders pack is installed the same way, so if you have a different one, it's still gonna work exactly like this one does. Now, if these aren't on your desktop, where are they? Well, they're in your downloads folder. So click on the Windows icon on the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen, but that little Windows icon on the bottom left, click on that and then type in Downloads. You'll have this Downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that and then drag Silder's Vibrant Shaders and Optifine from there to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, first we actually need to install Optifine as Optifine is required to run shaders. To do this, it's not hard. Simply right click on it and then click on Open With and then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. But what if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary or what if you do, you click on it and it doesn't work? Well, no worries. We have a solution for you in the description down below. You can find the Java Development Kit download, specifically the Java download takes you through the 
entire process of downloading Java here and getting it installed on your computer. However, if you do that, if you've gotten Java and it still doesn't work, you need to run the jar fix, right? So come here, run the jar fix, and then you'll be good to go. This is going to, as it says, repair all the .jar files on your PC. So that's what it's going to do. And then you'll finally be able to right click on Optify, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. That will open up the handy Optify installer here, where all you want to do is click on Install. It will then go through, install Optifine, and as you can see, say Optifine is successfully installed. If it doesn't, well, it's no big deal. All you need to do is go run Minecraft 1.14.3 with no mods or anything installed, then you'll be good to go. Now we can go ahead and click OK here. It'll close out of the Optifine installer, and we can open up the Minecraft launcher. So we open up the brand new Minecraft launcher here. We can go ahead and make sure we're playing the Optifine profile. To do that, click this little box or a little drop down box next to the play button. See right here next to the play button it says version. If you click on that you can actually select the Optifine version. See that Optifine 1.14.3 dash Optifine? Click on that and then you can click play. But if you don't have that what do you do? Well no worries at the top up here this top menu bar click on installations and then you'll see right here this new button right here. See this new button? Click on that and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have incredible grief protected survival on two different Minecraft servers, one running a player based economy, one running a server based economy with slash shop. And on top of that, we have custom Skyblock with over 100 players on our Skyblock server every single day. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I'll we'll actually be joining it later in the video. But nevertheless, version here, we want to click on this version drop down box and then we want to see release 1.14.3 Optifine. Click on that. I'm then going to change my resolution. You don't have to change the resolution. I'm just doing it so you can see once we get in game. And then you can click create. Again, it should say Optifine in version here. Click create. And now if we come down here, we can see the play.breakdowncraft.com profile we created. There's actually a play button right on this profile. See that? Click on that play button and it'll go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.14.3 with Optifine installed. But we're not installing Optifine. I mean, we had to install Optifine, but we needed to really install Shake. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we do need to wait for Minecraft to open up here. But once we're on the Minecraft main menu, we can get shaders installed. How do we do that? Well, we go ahead and click on options here. See that? And then we want to go over here to video settings. And then we want to go ahead and click on shaders right there. Now, it let me open it up automatically. But for you, you may not be able to open it up automatically. And that is because of that fast render, right? See that? So it won't let me activate it because I have a shaders pack active. But what you want to do is come over here to where it says performance and then make sure fast render is off. If it is, you can then go ahead and click on shaders. Once you're here, installing shaders is easy. Just click on this shaders folder button in the bottom left. See that shaders folder button? Click on that and it will go ahead and open up our shaders packs folder. All you want to do now is take Silder's vibrant shaders or whatever shaders pack you're wanting to install and drag it in to the shaders packs folder here. And we can go ahead and close out of that. It'll probably automatically appear in Minecraft, but sometimes it doesn't. And if it doesn't, just click done and then click on shaders again. Then to select your shaders pack, go ahead and click on it here. In my case, Silder's Vibrant Shaders. Now, there is all sorts of other shader settings that I like to tell people about, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, there are these over here that allow you to change some quality and things, but really and truly down in the bottom right, there's the Shaders Options button. See that Shaders Options? Click on that and here's where really you can get some things changed. For example, waving objects. A lot of people don't like grass or leaves waving, so you can come in here and you can turn off waving leaves. So we're going to do that, for example. So you can edit all sorts of stuff in here, but that is something I do like to mention. At this point, we can go ahead and click Done, and we can test it in-game on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com, 230 people online, and it's a random Monday, right? 230 people online on a random Monday. That is awesome. We should join in here to our Medieval Survival server, which is our brand new server that launched this week. It's got a player-based economy. Absolutely incredible stuff. Do slash spawn here. There we go. I mistyped. And then we can do GMC, just so you guys can get the full tour real quick. But this is our medieval survival server. Wow, that moon is overwhelming. But we can do P time day and show this off in the daytime. Look at that awesome medieval castle here. We've got over five different realms for you to explore. 20 quests, all sorts of awesome stuff, in addition to just an awesome survival server and features and all that. So look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely stunning. Come play with us here. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online, and I hope you enjoy your brand spanking new shaders pack. Anyway, my name is Nick. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and I am out. Peace.